Welcome to everything you need to know about the 22.3 update in Pixel Gun 3D. We've been given a small leak on features that we can expect in this next update, including a sneak peek of the brand new game mode, but also Battle Royale is getting a huge update. Now, the other day, I shared with you a video titled The Future of Pixel Gun 3D. And during that video, we were given a sneak peek on what to expect over the next few months for Pixel Gun 3D. But a lot of the information was in regards to this next update. Now, as me making this video, the update could start rolling out. You might see it in a couple of hours. You might see it in a couple of days. It's likely going to hit Android first and then a couple of days after iOS. Let's focus on the battle royale changes. So here's a picture for you. Now, for most of you, this means nothing. It's like just a med kit, just armor plates. However, we've been told that in Battle Royale now, you can have up to 10 healing items in your inventory. So you can hold five med kits and five armor plates. Now, the best way to compare this is Call of Duty Warzone. They have plates. If you have plates, you can heal up anywhere, anytime if you are injured. It looks like Pixel Gun 3D is going to be doing something very, very similar. And this is pretty good because currently in Battle Royale, the only way to heal up is, yes, you do have a med kit, but sometimes finding it can be difficult. The only other way is you could run around the whole entire map trying to find yourself armor and trying to find yourself health and you do not find it at all. And during that time, you're incredibly vulnerable. I'm pretty sure we've all played Battle Royale We've all run round with one health, which is not fun because you're trying to avoid players, but you're also trying to find health. So you will be able to hold one, two, three, four, or five med kits and one, two, three, four, or five armor plates. And you can hold five med kits and five armor plates, equaling 10 at the same time. Now, instead of these being distributed across the map the way it currently is, the only way you're going to be able to get med kits and armor plates is via chests. So currently you can get med kits via the gadget chests, right? So you're still going to be able to get your med kits inside of there, but you're also going to be able to get armor plates as well. So does that mean they are officially going to be removing the health pickups and the armor pickups around the map? It looks like that's the direction they are going. It's going to be quite difficult because sometimes it's nice picking up some extra health and armor, but now you're going to have to open even more chests. The next change that is going to be happening to Pixel Gun 3D Battle Royale is chests being reworked. So as you know, in Pixel Gun 3D, when you pick up a brown or a blue or a legendary chest, it usually has one weapon and one weapon only. The only way you can get multiple things is from an airdrop. That is changing. Around the map, there is going to be multiple chests, and these chests will have more than just one item. They are going to have weapons, they are going to have gadgets, and they're also going to have consumables, which I imagine is going to be your armor and your plates. So that means you can open a handful of chests and get some insane weapons, but also meds as well. I think the overall aim here is to try and keep gameplay consistent. Rather than having to constantly break so many different chests, rather than focusing on killing people, your main focus is gonna be a handful of chests, and then you're gonna fight, and then you're gonna keep fighting, rather than loot, 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 which can be quite boring. So hopefully this is gonna improve the gameplay experience. But it gets better. Because now weapons in Battle Royale will have different rarities. So for example, there will be harsh punishes in your game that will be common graded. There will also be another harsh punisher that will be mythical graded, epic graded, legendary graded. Here's a picture. So I imagine this is what it's going to look like when you open a chest. And the best way for me to explain this is let's say you've already picked up a common harsh punisher. Well, there's two other options here. You can take the top one, or you can take the bottom one, which is mythical graded. It's pretty obvious. You are now going to be taking the mythical graded harsh punisher rather than using your common one. So the same weapons 
will have different rarities in the game. That is going to be incredibly interesting. It's also showing you that there's a different rarity of the hero weapon. It's showing you the damage, which is 12. Fire rate is 98 as well. So I imagine the hero will come in a, a couple of different rarities as well. And gadgets. I'm curious about gadgets. Can you get different rarities of gadgets? For example, a stealth bracer in like common graded. The only way they could do this is obviously durability on gadgets. How long it's going to last for. But I notice here with the harsh punisher, the top one has 7 slash 7, which I'm guessing is ammunition. And the bottom one, which is mythical graded, only has two bullets. So does that mean if you get a mythical graded harsh punisher, it's that powerful that it only needs two bullets? And what happens when you pick up bullets around the map? Well, that's stuff that we're going to have to find out. But yeah, weapons, can there can be several of one type of weapon, but they'll be different graded. I also had the confirmation that the developers have reworked loot spawn points. So currently, for example, in Battle Royale, if you're going to the school, you know the courtyard in the front? You know there's always going to be a chest there. Sometimes it's a legendary chest, sometimes it's a blue chest. But you know from playing that game mode multiple times, it's always going to be there. That's not going to be the case anymore. They're going to be moving around the map, which again makes it diverse because if you go to your favorite spots all the time, and you know where the chests are, the next time you play the game could be in a completely different spot. Now, in terms of rarity for chests, I was told that there are rare chests, there are now ultra rare chests, and there are the most basic chests, which can be found all over the map. The loot amount and rarity differs depending on the chests. So if you find a rare chest, you might find an epic and a legendary weapon. However, if you manage to find yourself an ultra rare chests, that's where you're going to find your gadgets. That's where you're going to find your mythical graded weapons. And that's where you're going to find all the good armors and heals. I still hope, though, that they have the supply drops. Because that is a point of interest. When you see these blue flares coming down to the map, everybody goes to that location. Which makes gunfights even more interesting. So Pixel Gun, please do not remove airdrops and the last thing i was told about battle royale is that there is going to be more weapons introduced so this could be like the fourth or fifth iteration that they've switched the weapons hopefully there's not going to be too many broken weapons please don't put that pistol in there please don't put the ultimatum in there now but regardless though it's about time battle royale did have an update i've not really played it in a very long time and even the gameplay you see when i was playing it there really wasn't too many people even on squads. For those who are not interested in Battle Royale, no problem. We did get a brief teaser of a new game mode being introduced. And we've been told that this game mode is very similar to Deathmatch, but also very different at the same time. I was given this screenshot right here. And this person who's playing this only has two weapons. So it looks like classes are going to be a thing. Rather than you using any weapon you would like, you now have to select a certain class and use it for that match. And here's a better picture to understand that. It says Pixel Star Selection. We can see the General Bullet set, the Portalia set, the Valkyrie set, Radio Activia set, the Saber, IGOR, Iga. So... Yeah, like, they're going full-on class-related. Now, the cool thing about this, though, is during this game mode, you will be able to test weapons that you don't even own. So, let's say you don't own the Valkyrie set, which has the Glory Wings, Resurrection, huh? Healing Spear, and Winged Revolver. Let's say you've been interested in getting the Healing Spear, but you've never had it before. Well, with this class setup you're able to try it. But I also noticed that the resurrection was there. I'm so confused. It says gadget and ultimatum. The ultimatum is resurrection. Could you imagine if they brought that back? I mean, to be fair, we've got the Uno card, which basically does the same thing, just in a different style. But yeah, pixel star collection, selection, sorry, with a brand new game mode.
And that's all the information I have for you in today's video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. More importantly, if this update drops before Friday, on Friday, I will live stream it. And we can check it out together. We can play the new Battle Royale experience. But besides that, keep an eye on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. The update is dropping very, 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 very soon. So yeah, new game mode, new Battle Royale update. And yeah, see you all in the next video.